All right, this was in uh, 1972 in the National Golden Gloves, which I believe was in Minneapolis, Minnesota. And Marvin and I knew each other from the year earlier, 1971. He was the United States uh, light heavyweight champion, and I won the United States middleweight championship. Uh, we toured Europe together. Uh, he fought light heavyweight, and I fought um, as the middleweight. Uh, showed up the next year for the Nationals in Minneapolis, and lo and behold, Marvin has done dropped down to a middleweight, which uh, I never did like fighting the South Falls much anyway, but the thought of having to fight him was just, I knew it was going to be, I knew it was going to be a war. Um, I hit him as hard as I've ever hit anybody, and everybody else I ever hit with my right hand went down. Marvin wobbled, but he didn't go down, and it was the hardest fight that I had in my entire boxing career. Uh, I'm covering up here and just letting him hit me on the gloves, trying to let him wear himself out, but that didn't happen. And I'm getting ready to hit him right here with the right hand that I don't know how he stood up. Boom. Um, I just don't know what kept him up. Um, I don't remember who recorded this fight, but they only got the first round in just a few seconds of the second round. But we got a standing ovation every round of the fight. And um, I've never been as tired in my life as I was after that fight. But at the next Nationals, I saw Marvin's coach, Sarge Johnson, and he told me that Marvin was not right for several months after that fight. And uh, I told Sergeant Johnson, he knocked all my feelings out of my teeth. At the Nationals, um, when they start, they had three rings going at the same time because uh, they had so many fighters. And the they fought them by weights. So uh, Marvin and I were fighting our opponents at the same time. Now, I don't know, probably he was not concerned about me as I was concerned about him, but I can remember during my fights, uh, I'm fighting one guy, but I'm watching over in Marvin's ring to see what the outcome of his fight's going to be, and he would knock his guy out, and then I would knock my guy out. Uh, that happened three times, and then we met the, for, the, for the fourth time, but I watched him knock three guys out and then I knocked my three guys out, but I just thought I've never done that before as far as being concerned about who I was going to fight. But I was very concerned about Marvin because I knew it was going to be a war. Thank <laughs> you.